Hi Virgo, welcome to Toy Tarot. This is going to be your November 1st through the 15th, 2021 read. We're going to start off with an intuitive read and then we'll go farther into your read to get more details for you. Now know that this is not only for Virgo Sun, but for Virgo placements as well. You can know a Virgo or have Virgo traits. Know that this won't be for all Virgos, but for who it's meant for. And you'll know. So with that being said, you take what resonates and you leave the rest. If you can, if this ends up to be like helpful, you know, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button. It is greatly appreciated in love. Okay. Now, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get to your read. Okay. Virgo, you received the seven of wands. Okay. Which lets me know that in the past you had to defend yourself with something. Okay. And it seems like it it was pretty big or it was a lot. Okay. Now, also in the past, something made you angry, of course, to have you um, feel defensive about something. Okay. Now, with the five of coins, okay, this lets me know that something is coming to you, Virgo. Okay. By the next full moon. Okay. God, the creator, spirit, your guardian angels just ask for you to have patience during this process, okay? And keep keep it like, keep, stay in a positive, um, stay with a positive mindset during the situation. Why, where it was emotional, possibly, but it could, it could go, you know, as far as like career, something that you were emotional about. Okay. You're being asked. The main message is to be patient. Okay. With what this is, that is going to, um, finally provide you with some answers to something. Now it depends on what you're going through Virgo. Okay. Now you received the tower card. So there's something steering up some kind of transformation. Um, in the making okay for you virgo with this situation again that possibly felt like a shipwreck okay a disaster okay that is the three of wands okay now virgo you received emotional healing so it's definitely something that affected you emotionally okay you're going to receive some healing, okay, come November. You received your wish is granted card, okay? So, it may not be exactly what you wanted, but it's what you need, okay? And it's going to help you with this emotional healing, okay? God, your angels... Spirit, the universe wants you to know, Virgo, that everything is okay, okay? And know that everything is still working out in a beautiful way, okay? Now, Virgo, you received the goodbye to the old card and hello to the new. So, again, something seems to be coming your way. Okay, so you received number seven which is the community card upright number 49 the angel of love which is upright and the appreciation card downward so this lets me know that you felt like you weren't appreciated okay for whatever this may be it could be in business okay or it could be in love okay and this affected you again emotionally okay it touched your heart you know this situation okay it bothered you greatly okay and it possibly had to do with gossip, okay, from peers. If we're talking in a work sense, you found out some people were talking behind your back. Um, or for the situation where you felt um, not appreciated, Virgo, you had to go to some friends to, you know, help you through the situation, okay? Now, another scenario would be, possibly Virgo that you expected during this situation that occurred for you know the same friends that you helped 
to actually show that same appreciation for you, okay? For all the things that you do, for all the love that you give to others, okay? To them, to your friends, to loved ones, okay? Virgo, you just felt like they were unappreciative, okay? For your self-care card, Virgo, you received number 39, which talks about plan a vacation. So, Virgo, maybe you need to literally plan a vacation for yourself to take your mind off of things, okay? And then in another sense, it's just keep your head up, okay? Be, be you and stay positive, okay, about the situation, okay? Because it seems like you're going to hear some form of communication. Virgo, you received the Harmony card. So this, by you staying positive, okay, it's going to keep you in a peaceful mindset, which is going to bring about change, which was at the bottom of the deck for you, okay? Now, this also talks about changes coming in that are going to make you feel complete harmony, okay? And it's going to feel like, you know, someone does appreciate you. Virgo, you received the Lilith card, okay? Now, what this Lilith card talks about is standing up for yourself, okay? Let's get into the purple energy here, okay? And it talks about not backing down and just pushing forward. So, for some, again, God is asking you to stay with a positive mindset and just push forward, you know, to help keep your emotions lifted, okay? The love that you give to others, you know, um, give to yourself, okay? Push forward with that to help you um, through this time where you feel not appreciated, okay? Now, for those that are gossiping, you know, that you found out were gossiping about you, whether co-workers, loved ones, you know, friends, you know, it. this card talks about standing up for yourself, okay? And not backing down, okay? Now, it could be misunderstandings, okay? But this basically says, do not compromise, okay? For some Virgos, you could have second house in Taurus. And then for some, you could have seventh house in Libra. And again, like for those who may actually need to plan a trip, it talks about pampering yourself, okay? Put your needs first. And then also the same love that you give to others, appreciate your surroundings, okay? Let that be the love, okay? That in a spiritual sense is the love that's going to get you through this moment where you're feeling, you know, um, not appreciative, okay? Um, well, not appreciated from other people, okay? You are the sign of beauty, okay? So, it's like, you know, you just make sure that, let's see, just make sure that you surround yourself by things of beauty since that's, you know, that's you, okay? Make your surroundings beautiful, okay? Block out all that negative stuff that, you know, it's very hurtful for you, okay? Virgo, you received... The death card. It's time to put it into a situation, okay? It came up upright. So once you stand up for yourself, just block certain things, certain people out, you know, things that, you know, make you feel not appreciative, you know, things that are people who don't, you know, um, give what you give to them, okay? You're going to see the sun come out for you. You're going to see some happiness come out for you, Virgo, okay? Um, again, um, you're going to... With the tower card being downward, this lets me know that you're going to receive some form of spiritual love, okay? God is trying to help you appreciate yourself more, okay? Because, Virgo, you may not, um, you may not give yourself the same love again that you give to other people. Give yourself the same attention that you give to others, okay? And then for others, you know, this probably hasn't even happened yet, but you're going to find out about it, okay? Again, this is for November, okay? So based upon the different energies where you are on your path, Virgo, you know, some are putting us into it and then some are going to receive this, okay? Now with the hangman, okay, being upside down, okay? 
this lets me know that it like Virgo, you're being asked to view it differently, okay? View the situation different, okay? Bring bring beauty into your world. Bring that happiness that you want other people to give you into your world, okay? Block it out, okay? Flip the script, okay? And see things from a different viewpoint. You received the Four of Wands, which talks about, uh, let's see, when near true friends, okay? So possibly some friends that you thought were true, you know, you they were gossiping about you or you're going to find out about it, okay? Uh, with the King of Hearts, okay? This talks about... Hand in hand indicates disposition, okay? So, this talks about friendships will warm into love for some. And when near um, 45, favor will be found with superiors, okay? And then this also talks about financial success for some. So, for me, maybe it was a misunderstanding, okay? And you see things from a different viewpoint, okay? And then... This person that is true to you, like a true friend, a close friend of yours, you know, y'all come to some kind of agreement, okay? And this could even be once you stand up for yourself regarding the situation, Virgo. So, Virgo, with the teacups card, you receive the older man, okay? You could be um, a masculine energy that's an older man, okay, that is in this situation. You could be dealing with a Leo, possibly. Virgo and then if not again you could just be an older man or Virgo you could this situation could do with an older man um whether love or business um that you thought was true to you okay um for some you could even come to an agreement again where it was a misunderstanding Virgo you received March okay Possibly this older man was born in March, okay? Maybe um, something to do with the older man, okay, will come up March 2022 20, for you, okay? So, when we brought up um, the, in business, okay, career, where there could possibly have been some friends or there's going to be some friends who you hear that are gossiping about you that you thought were, like, loyal to you and stuff, well... You standing up for yourself, Virgo, you're going to be recognized possibly maybe by this older man, okay? This older gen gentleman, okay? They're possibly going to hear what you have to say um, in the month of November, okay? Might be impressed, and then something comes up for you in the month of March. Or this older man, again, could be born in the month of March, but it's something to do with the month of March, okay? Now, um... You receive the coins card, which talks about money will be coming to you, Virgo, okay? So, in March, you're going to be receiving some kind of money coming in, okay? You receive the box, Virgo, which talks about you receive a gift, okay? So, definitely, there's going to be some money coming in for some Virgos come March, okay? Now, Virgo, you received the man card, which talks about dealing or relationship with the man. So, you could either be dealing with an older man or... Or you could be the older man that's a Virgo, okay? Virgo, you also received the well card, which talks about family wishes come true, okay? And for me, this card basically talks about, you know, something happening for you if it's for the best or, you know, for the better, okay? Which at the beginning it was, okay? Now, you received the cobweb card, which talks about protecting.